Hey guys, I'm Charles with uh, an ambassador for your all. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Yora Draw, which is our new pen plotter and laser engraver um, that's available at Michael's now. Uh, we're really excited to be talking about it today. Um, and I guess let's go ahead and get started with just the basics. Um, can everyone see my screen, I guess would be the first question. Because I am trying to share my screen right now, so I just wanna make sure that you can see my screen. Fantastic. So the or draw is a sorry. apologize. As soon as I start recording something, they started a garage door. This is a uh, implant. It is very precise. It's designed to be able to take an image or any text, anything that you want, and translate it onto a written text or an image. Uh, utilize any font that's installed on your computer or um, pretty much any image that you can uh, download from the web. Um, and you can uh, either draw it or have an outline in, uh, in several different manners. Um, also have it uh, so you use it with several different file types. Uh, there's a PNG, JPEG, GIF, BMP, or my personal favorite, which is an SVG, which will is just the outlines themselves. You don't need access to the uh, internet to use this. Um, it's not like a, uh, some other machines where you, there's a you know, software um, or anything like that. Hey, Charles, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to want to interrupt you. Yeah, it looks, it sounds like, um, I don't know if your mic may have changed. We don't hear you as clear as before. I'm having trouble. Uh, unfortunately, there is work being done outside of my control uh, right now. So I am just, I think, going to have to talk a little bit louder, unfortunately. Um, unless, uh, Carrie, is there anything that you can think of to add right now? Um, I would just try to go louder and then get into showing them um, how to put it in the computer and, and that way they can visibly see it. Perfect. And once again, I do apologize for this. Literally, as soon as I started recording, they started the machine up. Um, so give me one second. Let me jump over here. So now we are in, this is called Your Draw. And the software is named after the machine. Um, one second. And this is an SVG that I've already loaded in. And you can see that we can move it around or if you right click, uh, you can uh, manipulate it in multiple ways. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to center it. Um, but if we wanted, we could also change the size by double clicking on it. Um, unfortunately, everything is in millimeters. Uh, so that is one thing that is uh, you do have to get used to, but you can make any changes. And then say we wanted to move it, you can do a preview, which will show us an outline. Switch to the... can go ahead and make sure the last thing is you always want to make sure that your pen is in the proper height to where it won't drag but it will go I hit start so now it's going to go ahead and it's going to draw see that it's actually really quick so it will be done with this in just a second so I guess right now uh, would be the perfect time for the first set of questions. So does anybody have any questions on the machine so far? Let me open up the chat.
So does anybody have any questions so far on the machine or any questions on what the capabilities of the machine are? Um, like I said, it is a, uh, a very, uh, it's capable of very intricate detailed drawings um, and it can make just about anything that you can think of. So give me one second. Hey Charles, is there a way um, we can stop sharing the screen so they can actually see the machine working? Yes, sorry, give me one second. I apologize. There, it's probably a little bit better. Although it's a little bit late, so give me one second. So right now it's just running an outline on it um, and it's done. So give me one second. this out you can see that it has made perfect drawing of a deer in this case um, now we can do just about anything so if anybody has an idea I can go find something and we can either write something or draw something um, we can make this a little bit more interactive if we want So Charles, what type of pens, pencils can you use in with your draw? Uh, any pen, actually. Um, you can use, like these are gel pens that I got from Michael's this weekend. Uh, this is a Jelly Roll Moonlight. Um, and they have just really fun, vivid colors. And I got that in this black cardstock to just try to show off the um, you know, the fun, colorful stuff that you could do with it. Yes. Can you do multiple you. colors in one, in one drawing? Yes, yes you can. Um, give me one second. I can load in something and we can assign it multiple colors. So a lot with this machine, what you see um, different industries using it for, is like a realtor will use it to have cards um, written to people that have bought in homes or sold their home or they've worked with. And instead of going in and always writing handwriting notes, they will have a template made and they just put it on the your draw, hit start, have it personalized, have the pen in there and your, uh, your card is created and put in the mail. Um, another, uh, way that this is used is some of those graphics that you see beautiful images of, especially the black and white ones. Uh, people will create them on the your draw and then just frame them. Um, you see a lot of lot of tracing, a lot of um, images being created, pencil art done. Um, really, the sky's the limit when it comes to the your draw. Um, one of the drawbacks would be the size, area, space of the workspace that you have. Um, is is limited to the A4 paper size, but within that size, you can do a lot of different things. Absolutely, and I'm just going to try to find a an image really quickly of just a flower or something very simple, and I'm going to make a card really quickly. So give me one second. I'll start sharing my screen, and we'll go through making a uh, a card. Yeah, and show them the whole process of how you import it into the software and then choose the colors. This software comes with a Yora Draw. Um, you do not have to buy anything separate. It comes with it. And it's pretty simple to use uh, once, once you just learn a couple little tricks to it. Um, and it will be able to center it if you want. It can put it in the bottom corner if you want. Kind of um, home to the position that you want to start with whatever project you're using. Uh, we have a customer support base uh, that will always be in place if you become an owner of a Yora Draw. Uh, we are available Monday through Friday, but through email, uh, you can catch us seven days a week. And we are also in the US, Canada, and actually around the world, um, you can find customer service reps. Um, do you, 
Do you have any questions um, as he's starting to load this or any projects that you're wondering, can it really be done on the Yora draw or, um, or type, of, type of things that you'd like to see it done on a Yora draw? Okay. So for now, I am going to start sharing my screen again, I think. So give me one second. Share my screen and. Okay. So now we're back. We want to be in your draw software. So let's go ahead and you can open or import up here at the top left. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I want to go in and this is what I just downloaded. This SVG file. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's grab it. Now, this is just going to be part of uh, my card. So let's go ahead and let's see. So I want this to be a little bit bigger. Change this text. Let's see what should we write? What should we write, guys? Of course, second because. Everything is behind something. Let's generate. And then if we wanted to add something else, now we can go click here and then we can assign. Let's see. Should be able. Let's go ahead and hit start. Guys, I'm having a little bit of trouble with Zoom. One second. It's not allowing me to control my camera right now. Now, as you can see on something like this, there is a lot of detail in it. And pen choice, pencil choice, whatever you choose to use is going to be important um, to get the fine detail. But this this can really get down to every detailed line as, as you would have it. Now, Charles, did we remember to put a different color in for this? No, I did not. Uh, give me one second. I'm trying to adjust my software. Second. And as he's doing that, um, there are 
there are some projects that you can find out there. And one of the one of the some of the places where you can find some of these images is honestly Etsy, um, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. You can go to Etsy and say, you know, I want to find a rose um, that's an SVG file to bring in, and you can download it for you know 80 cents or whatever, and it's in the right format. And then you own that right to that SVG file and bring it right into um, our software and use it and then customize it with the colors and, and different imaging options that you want to use here. So there's one, one way where you can find images, find ideas. Um, we do a lot with within Etsy of getting patterns of flags and just more detailed objects. You don't necessarily have to create or design your own. Um, in fact, that's it's probably easier to find it and not all files are free if you search. Um, so sometimes you have to pay 80 cents dollar. Um, there's some inexpensive sites. Charles, you have one that you get a lot of SVGs off from too, don't you? Absolutely. So I use one called Creative Fabrica um, and I will put a link to it in just a second. Um, but it is a monthly licensed uh, subscription and it gives you access to several thousand uh, different files um, and they're all commercially licensed so you can use them if you are trying to do create uh, art fairs or craft shows or if you're trying to put both of those words together like I just was and create a new word um, you can do either of those things with them. And you don't have to worry about paying licensing fees for, for each device. While he's sorting that out, we if you notice on the machine, um, towards the where it says your dry your draw, um, there's a little uh, laser. Um, this is an added bonus that can be added to our machines. Um, like no wonder that is actually a laser engraver. And uh, if you want to laser engrave a logo, um, yep, there it is. Uh, or, or laser engrave onto something. That is the capability of this machine. Um, it is like having a portable laser. Um, obviously, you're a little restricted with the space between um, the bed of the, um, the Yora draw and the laser beam, but uh, you can still fit a substance under there and actually laser on your design as opposed to draw it with a pen. This, this is an add-on to buy the laser, but it does give you the option to per personalize it and the bed of the um, the Yora draw is is heat resistant, sufficient for it. Um, you can see where he's got the laser all tied in um, and locked in and, and able to use. We see this a lot with craft shows. It's lightweight. If somebody wanted to have whatever they were purchasing to have their name on it or something personalized, you could have this machine right there and run the laser, personalize it for them. Uh, if you wanted to uh, do a card or something. If you had the right material, believe it or not, you can actually use a laser engraver for that. You just have to have the right speed um, and the right power to not burn a hole through your paper or whatever you're using, which is something you just learned, something we have a lot of documentation on of how the laser engraver works. But as you see, when he gets over to uh, back to when you see his whole desk, he's got a mini laser there. It does the same thing as far as being a laser engraver. So it's just a unique feature that we have. Um, a lot of people like this machine just for the laser engraver itself um, and the power and the ability has to do it. So the little uh, your home machine sitting in front of his laptop, um, that's a that's a travelable laser engraver. A um, lot of logos, a three by three spot is what that can do. That's the same thing as what that laser um, 
can do on the Yoradraw. What the laser itself looks like when it's not hooked into the Yoradraw is that, that's what you're adding on. Um, there's different wattages that you can get. There's 3.5 watt, 5.5 watt, 15 watt, and 40 watt that can go on here. The higher the watt is, the more power, the more speed that you can have to complete something. Um, but for projects that you probably use on this, you could get the 3.5 or the 5.5 and be absolutely, um, be have sufficient amount of power um, to laser engrave on something. Um, so these are just some added bonuses, added things that um, that we have as a specialized item with our with our company simply because we, you know, are one of our main things that we have and we we do as a company is our laser engraver. So we built it into this machine. Absolutely. Um, and it's yeah. very easy to uh, to change out anything on here. Like I decided that I wanted a different color while I'm doing this. So I just swapped out the color. Although I do think I want to lower it just a little bit. Um, and then give me just a second. So I have to the overhead again. So now I'm going to restart the same job that I was doing just a second ago in the correct order. Um, go ahead and start. can use the laser engraver. engraver. Uh, I can cut something with it if anybody wants to see it cut, um, or we can draw something else, or we can have it write something, like literally anything that you guys have a question on, let me know, and we can uh, set it up and do it. Charles, why don't we do a laser just to show them? Now I, this will only take a second because it is just doing the same thing that I had it to just a second ago. But um, almost done and then as soon as it gets done we will have it do basically the same thing again i think unless is there anything else that we should cut let's see let's find something new to cut Okay, so now let's fire up the laser engraver. So now this is really simple to switch over to the laser. Um, I can switch back over to Zoom. Second, let me start sharing the screen. All right, so I went and I downloaded this quick file from uh, Creative Fabrica. Let's jump back into the Your Draw software. So you can see that this is the previous uh, draw that I had. So we can just uh, right click and we can hit clear. And then up here at the top right, we're going to click here and for machine type, 
I'm going to change it to laser engraver. And then we're going to hit OK. So now we've changed it into a laser engraver. So let's go ahead and grab this file. Uh, one thing is, is uh, you do have this right here. It's great. It's called uh, week on and week off. This turns the laser engraver on and off in a week state um, so that you can see exactly where it's going to engrave. So let me run that again. I don't know if you guys can see it from this angle, but as he's checking to see where it's going to run, it was running too high on the machine. So he knew to correct it because it was outside the area where he could engrave. So it's important to run that preview because it lets you know exactly where it's going to engrave or, an easy or draw. Thing is let, me, let me lift this up. So, and let me put on. So it also comes with a set of these really fashionable uh, glasses. These are fantastic, uh, but they do block out 100% of the laser light. So instead of seeing a blue light right now, all I can see is a little pin light. Now this is perfect for when I want to see. So this is still just a little bit off. So let me. One second, I need to edit the size of this, and I'm having a memory lapse. So let's try this. So, so you can see the little laser and you can see the black paper. Now the great thing about this is, is this has limit switches. So it automatically knows where it's always located. So once I hit start, if this doesn't, if it's not powerful enough to cut through the paper on the first try, because it, I might, I'm running it pretty fast right now. So let's start it. Give it just a second. Let's see. And while I'm running it, let me check over to the server. Let's see what you guys are saying so that I can see. So now, I apologize, Zoom is, there we go, I can see Zoom again. All right, so right now it's running the outline cut, and this is just a simple, um, like a snowflake engraving that you would do or cutting out something. Um, let's see. And then this is a, uh, the laser that I have on here is the three and a half watt module is an adjustable focus. So what I, so what you have to do or what I did is I have it adjusted right now to where it's for cutting or for using card stock, um, you can, sorry, it's adjusted for card stock so that it is only going to cut through something this high. If it was thicker than that, we would need to redo the adjustment and uh, change the focal length. Um, 
you can cut. Uh, it depends on the, the strength of the laser. Um, you can do three millimeter wood would probably be the maximum with this one with a three and a half watt module, um, but they do are, we do offer it up to a 40 watt module, which would be capable of cutting through probably, you could get through quarter inch plywood, um, most likely, uh, if you did it low and slow uh, enough. Um, it's not really what this unit's designed for. This is more for crafting or, you know, doing something like this. Um, we do offer, I do not have it, visible right now but we do offer a larger laser for that type of thing um let's see. so it's going to continue cutting these let's see if this one. so i'm gonna have to run it again now this will be this will show a great thing about this which is the limit switches so you can go over and it will repeat in the exact same area that it was just going through so even if it doesn't cut through the first time, you can just hit start again, and it will cut in the exact same place in the exact same pattern. And that's very useful because this, this is the first time that I've cut this specific card stump. So normally I would cut a test piece beforehand, and so I would know exactly what to do. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to run it. Uh, test cut of this cardstock through here. So we are having to figure that out live. Um, another quick thing is, is uh, if you are using a laser engraver, always use it in a well-ventilated space. Um, we are burning materials. So you want to be in either a room that's got a uh, window open and a fan in it pulling the air out or right now I am in a garage space um, with a ventilation fan. So you, um, that is something that you want to keep in mind anytime you are going to be burning thing, anything. One of the things that I do want to add, because I know it has come up in the chat a little bit, is some of the other some of the other material that you can put. Oh, Charles, can you hit the volume? Yep, sorry. sorry. Is some of the other material that you can actually engrave on, but not cut through, would be um, thicker pieces of wood, a little bit thicker, plastics, aluminums, those type of materials you could have in here and maybe engrave the design on the on the ornament or whatever you're engraving with a laser you you would have that ability to engrave on that so if you wanted to personalize an ornament and you had the ornament in place the engraver would personalize it um it just won't cut through on this machine um, because the laser is not more powerful but you could engrave on it um, but to cut through, you're going to look at three millimeter wood or thinner or cardstock, canvas, those type of materials, this could cut through and engrave. So you could do a little combination of both too. Absolutely. Um, and like I said, I am running this again, just so that it can cut through this, uh, because that's what I'm wanting to do is cut through. Um, so it is going to continue working here. Um, and for engraving, uh, there really isn't a maximum other than you're going to have to figure out how to get the laser module itself further away from the, the material at some point. Um, but you know, if you're trying, if you're doing mostly engraving, this is not the your home product that I would say is best for you. This is best if you want to do, uh, if you want to make a, a gift card, a Christmas card, you know, a personalized drawing, something like that. Um, like an example of here's something that I did just uh, this week um, while I was uh, I was just messing around with a uh, ballpoint pen. Um, and you can see, or I hope you can see, because I'm wearing these amazing green goggles, so I can't see every detail. But this is a, uh, a very detailed drawing that I was able to do with this. Um, so it can do incredibly detailed drawings. 
Yes, we do not recommend cutting styrofoam with a laser. Um, there are better uh, ways to do that. Um, you know, this would be great for, you want to, uh, the engraving portion of this would be great for if like you wanted to make a quick customized cutting board or you wanted to just put, you know, for grandma or something, you know, something specialized like that, you could do that really quickly, have it engrave it, and then, you know, you'd have a, a really personalized gift in a, a relatively short amount of time. Um, and you could make a card to go along with it, um, with the pens. So this should be getting close to being done now. Does anybody have any questions on the software, I guess? Um, you know, the, uh, any design questions, uh, any questions on text, um, you know, basically just any questions. So, Charles, why don't you talk about our knowledge base and our Facebook group? Absolutely. So uh, I think the first place to start would be our Facebook group. So we have a great Facebook group where you can go and uh, if you have a question, um, we have, I think, over 6,000 members now um, who are very active in helping you either find a solution or showing off like the latest and greatest thing that they've made. Uh, it's, it's constantly on finding new innovate or new inspirations and uh, new cool things that people are making on there. Um, so let me see, give me just a second. Do we have a link for that actually, Carrie? Yeah, I'll put it in the chat. Okay, awesome. So we have that. And then also, if you have any questions on the software, we have a knowledge base. It's at yourhome.com. Uh, and you just go to the knowledge base and basically any of our software, anything like that, that you have questions on, we have information in there. So last one should be finishing up now. So we should almost be done. Okay. So, so we can see that we need to slow it down some is what we're going to do. So give me one second, let me slow down the speed a little bit because Anytime you're doing engraving, it's a it's a mixture of speed and power. And since I'm cutting through cardstock, I don't want to use 100% power just because it would uh, catch on fire if I went too slow. So I want to go 75% power and then find my the speed that I want to um, or that will cut through it. At. So that's what I'm adjusting right now is my speed. Um, that's nice about these machines is once you figure out the speed, the power, the dimensions and all of that, it stays standard. It's, it's pretty close to it. So I know we're doing a little bit of trial and error here, but we wanted to be real with what you go through a little bit when you start um, and not just come out like everything's, you know, going to be right on the first try. Um, but once you figure out the power and speed of this, you'd be able to next time just do it on the first run. Um, without putting a hole in the paper or, you know, not, not going all the way through. Um, we do have, you know, some um, sheets in the Facebook group that um, are boundaries that we have that are usually pretty close to what you need. Um, if you're just starting out to kind of give you some guidelines. 
Um, all that is available um, for free on the Facebook group with our customer support system. Um, we offer that, that just comes with our product. Um, one of the things we are noted for is our customer service. And uh, we, you know, we answer these questions every day. Um, most, most of the techs um, either have a machine or they've had experience with the machine enough to be able to answer all these questions. So um, not only, you know, doesn't, wherever you buy it, um, you know, one of the first things we give is an hour customer service for free. So whether it's setting up your machine, whether it's um, learning the software, whether it's doing the first project with you, whatever it is that you need, um, we're there to support you. Most people, I would say it's, it's, you know, hooking it up to the computer or, you know, getting a few settings is what people use it for. Um, but it's there for you to use. Um, if you start right out, do it great. And, you know, three months down the line, you want to try maybe the laser or something and, and you come then and say, hey, I'd like my, my hour. I need a little bit of help. We're still there to help you. We're, we're not going anywhere. So um, we, we love and we're proud of that support that we can offer um, and the knowledge that, that our techs have, um, the availability of our techs. Um, we have some, a great team. It's not just nine to five and you, don't, you can't find us or, or get a hold of us. Uh, we, have some, we have some great individuals that are on a lot of times 10, 11 o'clock at night. So we cover all uh, time zones. Um, so you know, we'd, we'd love to have you join the Your Home family. Um, and, and get your yards out, draw for this, this holiday season. Um, they are available on, on Michael's online. Um, I will put the link in the chat for you. Um, so does anybody have any questions or something we didn't cover or something you'd like to know um, if this machine can do? I know this is one of our first runs of doing a, a demonstration in this setting. Um, so we appreciate, you know, a little bit of grace that you had and allow us in flipping through cameras and, and walking through a few things, but um, we're here to answer anything that you, um, that you have questions on. Um, so I, I open it up to questions. We, yeah, we definitely want you to, to as those that you already have the URA draw, um, when you when you make it, share it with make it with Michael's and Michael's classes with the hashtags, um, hashtag with your draw, um, hashtag uh, your home. Um, be proud of what you make. Um, your success is our success. That's that's how our company likes to look at things. So, um, does anybody have any questions you like to throw in the chat? joining us a written letter absolutely give me one second let me go ahead and stop this and i can jump over to that in one second. i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna hit stop all right so now i can take off these goggles much better i can see um all right so let's Switch out the paper, and hey, finally got through. All right, so let's go ahead and switch the paper up, and then you can choose a color pen. Uh, so I'm going to go off the board and choose yellow, just because. One second, let me share my screen and I will jump over to the um, software. Could you show, did the ornament actually cut out? They're asking to see it. Oh, yeah, one second. So, 
Which camera am I on? I'm on this camera. So it did cut out. Um, let me switch back over to the overhead camera. So it did cut it out and also cut out the snowflake that I had on there, but I have to pull that out. Um, I do not. Uh, one second. So you can see that. See that it cut through. So I want to clarify something in the chat while he's setting up the letter. Um, the laser part of this machine is an add on, it's a separate thing. It does not come with just the machine um, because honestly, not everybody wants the laser part of it. So that is why it is an extra purchase. What comes with this machine is um, basically everything except for that laser module. If you choose to buy the laser module, it comes with everything you need, including the glasses and all the wiring to hook up. But the your draw comes, um, it comes with you know the bed, the uh, the holder for the pen. It does come with the hookup for the laser module to be added to it. So you'll have everything you need if you choose later to purchase um, the laser module. Um, but everything you need to start up the software and everything for the actual your draw part of it does come with the original unit. It's just the laser module itself. And, and the other part of that is there's different options. Like I said before, we have the 3.5 watt, the 5.5 watt, the 15 watt and the 40 watt lasers. And everybody has a different reason for what wattage that they get. Um, and that's all on our website at yourhome.com where you can find the different wattages. So. The unit is incredibly easy to put together when you get it. It comes in two pieces. Um, it's this entire piece right here. And then there's four uh, screws right here with little thumb um, thumb nuts, I guess you'd call them. And uh, you just put those on and that's it. Um, it takes less than 30 seconds to put together. So you're up and running in under five minutes. Um, see and it does include everything you need uh, there is an included cable for connecting to your computer and a power cable um, let's see so let me jump over to share my screen and jump over to the laser or sorry the your draw software so this is still currently in the laser setting so to go back you just click right here and go machine type we're going to go back to pen writing machine with motor. Once we've done that, now if we want to do text, just click here. And if we want it to look like a, a handwritten font, we can click here. And let's grab some text. So. I am not good at thinking up stuff on off of the uh, top of my head. So I'm just going to go grab the description for the your home, your draw, and we'll write that. So we can just copy anything, so we can paste it, and it will generate it. Now it will generate it in what it considers to be the best way. So if you copied, like I did, all of the spacing, it will bring over that spacing. So it will take you just a second to get everything set up exactly how you want it. But then once you have, you should be able to click preview. It will show you. going to stop sharing my screen really quickly because I can't see the video controls and I'm going to switch over to the overhead camera so that you can see it writing and now I'm going to hit start and it will start writing. <laughs> Once 
Charles, can you import different fonts in? Yes, any font on your computer. Apologize, the pen was loose in here. If the pen is loose, then it will be all up. There's nothing I can do about that. So give me one second and let me adjust that. Yes, any, com uh, any fonts on your computer. So if you have a favorite font, you go to 1001fonts.com, you know, anything like that, you can uh, install just about any fonts or any fonts uh, on here. And then once you have installed it, let me start sharing my screen again. So once you've installed the font, you can go here and let's go back into the your draw. Delete this. So, clear text. So, you would go here and we would choose this, and then it would choose our font. So, you can go here, and then this is every font that's loaded on my computer. Um, so, let's choose big lots and click generate. It's going to generate it. Now it's going to so it is going to put it exactly how it wants to. So if you do see something that you want to adjust, you can. Like I do think I want to want to put that spacing back in there. So one second, let's go ahead and generate again. Preview. And then I'll go ahead and hit start. Now keep in mind too that no matter what font you choose, the pen you choose is just as important to be able to form the letters. And if you put a calligraphy pen in and you're trying to do a font like this, you might not get the outcome you want. Um, if you have a Sharpie pen in here and you're trying to get a real fine point font to write, you will have trouble. So. You know, there, there's a little bit of strategy to it um, to get the look you want, but it also gives you the ability to uh, be creative in both using font and pen style to um, have a unique look to your letters, to your drawings, and, and all that you can create with this. I do apologize if the video just switched. I just realized that I could adjust that. Yeah, so it, it's right now writing in uh, the font Ben Glass, uh, also known as the Stranger Things font. Now, if there are any uh, Stranger Things fans out there, um, any other questions? So the laser goggles are part of the laser module. Um, you get fantastically awesome looking glasses right here along with the laser module and a cable um, and then I have routed the cable through here so that it matches all of the, the manufactured cable uh, in this housing and then uh, it plugs into the motherboard underneath and once you've done that it just lives on there you don't have to remove it or turn it off ever it's all built into the system so as soon as you turn the uh, hit the power button on here um, the laser module turns off same thing it turns on and activates with it um, it's really a well-built system uh, with how it talks to each other so do we have any other questions as we're getting close to the top of the hour um, that we could answer for you or show you.
Awesome. Well, it's been great talking with you guys, and uh, we've really enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, you've learned some uh, stuff from it, and um, hopefully, we'll see you again. See you again soon. Thanks for joining us.